Hi everyone, welcome back to another Food Friday and I'm here at my most favorite ramen place in the entire world that I've tried and I've tried a lot of ramen but we are at Taj Mahal Ramen in San Diego and I literally compare every other ramen dish, every other noodle dish to the ramen here because it's so good. So let's go ahead and head inside so I can tell you and show you why it's my favorite ramen place ever. Okay everyone, so every single Taj Mahal location has a couple of different items, like at a different location on Convoy Street in San Diego, they have my favorite which is the, gr uh, the grilled squid. But today at this location, I got the bakery mussels, which I don't think they have the other location. And that, and the takoyaki, which is like octopus bits, breaded, and there's like green onion and other stuff in there. Let's go and try that first. There's also an eel sauce and some mayonnaise on top. Okay, so you get some really nice, sizable pieces of octopus. Then the outside has this nice crunch strip. When you get to the inside of the takoyaki, it's immediately just soft and bready. And you get all the different sauces and the bonito flakes. Perfect combo, it's a great appetizer. Now let's see, for the bakery mussels. This is one of my favorite appetizers in general. I love bakery mussels, so. So they're just mussels with like an onion and like cheese sauce on top, some green onion. The mussels have such a great flavor to them. They taste really fresh. They just have that really nice seafood taste that seafood should have. It's not like a stinky taste. And then I was so caught off guard because the sauce, like the cheese sauce, is spicy. Usually it's not spicy at all. Usually it's mild. But this one has just a little bit of like what feels like spice, like chili spices, like not like actual pepper, but like ground spices, like paprika or cayenne or something like that. So that's a nice, interesting twist. All right, so that's it for the appetizers. Now we're gonna wait for the main event, which is the ramen. Look at how beautiful this bowl of ramen looks. You have the really thick noodles. You have the pork cashew, you have the pork belly, you have the ramen egg, you have the chives, the green onion, the fried garlic, the seaweed, like everything is just perfect. And okay, this is like one of my biggest, like tell, like a big indicator if a ramen restaurant is good, the ramen egg. So I've been to a couple of restaurants in LA where the ramen egg is like a hard boiled egg. And that's just totally wrong. It's supposed to be perfectly soft boiled like this with a nice, like slightly brownish ring on the edge. That's how you know it's been properly marinated and has all that good ramen flavor. So yeah. All right, let me go in this broth. So this is their creamy tonkatsu broth. And tonkatsu broth is basically a ramen broth that's super creamy because it's made with um, pork belly and other pork aspects. So it's super creamy and meaty. So let's see how it is today. This is why it's my favorite. Oh my gosh. It just glides down. You get this perfect ratio of oiliness, soupiness, and fat. You don't want something that's too fatty where you just feel guilty eating it. You don't want too oily because then it's just slimy. It's the perfect ratio of all. This is another factor of why I like Tashima are these thick ramen noodles. So a lot of places have really thin ramen noodles, and I don't like that. I like a nice bite to my noodles. That's why I like udon noodles and other things that are thicker. So I want to get that nice bite and chew to it. So here we go. And you bite again, you have that pushback, and they just fill your mouth with delicious noodly goodness. All right. The last thing I'm gonna try for you on camera is the pork. Now, these are really thick pieces. I'm a little surprised. If I, I remember them being a little smaller, but all right. Ooh, it's, all, it's falling apart. That's how you know it's been slow cooked, is when it's, just, it's so tender it falls apart. Beautifully cooked super soft. It's like a held together pulled pork. It has that consistency, but it, since it's in a broth, it's super juicy and it's perfectly marinated. It's not too salty, but I think it pairs well with the ramen. Like, I've, I haven't found a, a bowl of ramen that's better than this one right here. So I'm gonna enjoy it now. So I'll talk to you after I'm done. I can't breathe. I'm so full, but it was so worth it. I, yeah. Yeah. So the thing about this is, it's really, really good, and I really do hope that you try it, but you have to like tonkatsu ramen, which is, as you can see here from the broth, it's a lot more rich, creamy, thick, it is heavier. So it's not like a shoyu ramen, which has like just like water, soy sauce, and like oil and things like that. It's heavier, so 
be prepared to feel really, really full and like you just inhaled like an entire like pork belly because it's just so much pork flavor, but it's so good. Like it's honestly, it's a dish that is very difficult to make as Kelvin has tried making it before, but I mean, they do it so well here. So take my, my bowl as proof. <laughs> But all right, so that's it for this Food Friday. If you ever go to Taj Mahal, let me know because I would love to hear your experience. Yeah, tell me all about it. Um, I would say though, I've been to their Long Beach location and it's like a food stand there. It's not really a restaurant. So they serve their bowls out of like paper bowls and they don't have like the full menu here. Like they don't have the thick ramen noodles, which I love and I recommend. So definitely try out the San Diego locations. And again, if you go, let me know. All right, thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in a future Food Friday.